The good returns from avocado continue to attract more farmers and companies into the business. The fruit has been hailed as one of the most relevant foods of our time due to its international popularity in making guacamole and its global recognition as a superfood based on health benefits. For instance, Kenya made 4.26 billion shillings in the first three months of this year alone, which was a 93% increase compared to the same period last year. This is the reason why avocado farming is increasingly replacing coffee and tea plantations and other types of farming, becoming the leading fruit export. Kakuzi PLC is one of the farms at the core of this fast-growing business. Back in 96, the first avocado plantings were, were put out and originally it was going to be 200 hectares of avocados. Just to put that in perspective, we're about 900 hectares now and we'll be about 1,200 hectares by the time we're finished. Now, to be honest with you, no one back in 96 could have actually really conceived what the avocado world would look like today. And the market demand has been so exceptional. And there is a continuous growth of demand for shall we say, high quality products that are grown to meet consumers' values. And so it, it was a concerted effort to, to look at avocados. It was going to be a small crop back in 96, but it's grown into something which is probably one of the largest avocado producers in, in Eastern Southern Africa. Despite Kenya being ranked as 8th top global avocado exporter, we are only meeting 10% of the international market demand. But according to Kakuzi, to remain relevant, we only need to grow our good reputation as the exporter of quality fruit. Now, if we go and market fruit in, in wherever we're marketing fruit, we should be talking about Kenya. We shouldn't be talking about Kakuzi because it's much easier to market a, a country because a bit like the tea we don't talk about a case of the east of the rift or a case of the east of the rift consumers worldwide talk about kenyan tea and we should be getting consumers to talk about kenyan avocados kenyan macadamias kenyan blueberries because that's a bigger picture that that consumers can get their 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 their, their head around we've got kenya as a great tourist destination we've got kenya as as a great place, whether it's the beach, whether it's Wanyama, you know, we've got all of these different things. And by the way, it produces all these great products as well. And, and if we're talking about brand Kenya, that's the picture we should be sending out there. A quality avocado that needs to compete in the international market means an undamaged, fully mature fruit at the correct size. But what does this take? Right from the time the fruit is growing in the tree, we ensure that it is well taken care of. An important aspect in terms of uh, taking care of the avocado fruit is ensuring that the fruit gets, uh, or the trees get the required nutrition and that also they are protected from pests and diseases. And then uh, after that now, if you're able to take care of your fruit, then uh, when harvesting time comes, then you harvest and handle it in the right way. What do I mean by that? Once you have taken care of the tree and you are now ready to harvest your tree, then uh, you have to have trained labor who will know how to handle the fruit in the best way possible. And harvesting is a delicate affair where the avocados are carefully harvested and uh, ensure that they don't rub against one another, hence inflicting damage on the avocado. Because the moment you inflict damage on the avocado, then that avocado is downgraded and it is just good for oils. During a normal season, Kakuzi Park House is able to process and package up to three containers of avocado. Each container has 20 pallets, with a total of 5,280 cartons of packaged avocado. During peak periods, they are able to process up to 24 containers a week. In the international market, what fetches a lot of money is the bigger size fruit. So from size 10, all the way to size 24. Those are the marketable avocados. So the mass sizer is a machine which now grades the avocado into the respective sizes. After grading into the respective sizes, they are manually packed by our packers who are trained 
and they ensure that they pack the avocado in to fit well into the 4 kg box. Once that is, has been done, then the avocado is now conveyed through the chain uh, and the roller chains and then now that will be received by our packing team and the packing team will put the packed cartons uh, into pallets. It takes up to 30 days for the product to reach the consumer via sea. The company is currently working with over 3,000 farmers who supply the fruit to the company. Kakuzi plans to invest over 200 million shillings to expand hectareage and avocado. Other superfoods in Kakuzi portfolio include macadamia and blueberries, with the latter being consumed locally.